Welcome to this tutorial. My name is Emmanuel. In this tutorial, we'll be creating the sample of the debit card we have on our screen here. If you're an old subscriber, thank you so much for coming back. If you're new to the channel, kindly hit on the subscribe button and turn on the notification icon to get notified whenever we post a new video. Kindly give this video a thumbs up and share your thoughts in the comment section below. Without further ado, let's get started. Now for this design, we'll be creating both the front and the back side of this debit card and this is what the front side look like and this is what the back side look like so let's jump right to it now the first thing you want to do is to delete this image that we have here so we'll just delete them and then we'll head on to the three dot here and the dimension for this design is 1005 by 651 pixels and we'll hit on ok Next up, we we'll head on to the plus icon here and we'll add a shape and we we'll have a shape here. We'll just scale it all the way to fit onto our design canvas and we'll click OK. Next up, we want to head on to the shape option and we'll head on to color and we'll activate the color and we'll go to gradient and we'll have this gradient nice here and we'll activate it. We'll hit OK. Now we want to head on to the layers panel and then we'll lock this layer. So that we have it in place and it doesn't move while we are creating our design so we'll head on to the plus icon and we'll start importing the images we have for this design so for those of you who want to try this design i will leave a link in the description of this video so that you can download the resource for this tutorial and you will try suit so we'll add the images we have for this um tutorial so we'll add this background image and we have it here nicely so we'll just scale it this way scale it like this and we'll scale it again so we have it around here and then we'll change the color to a milk color and we have it here nicely and we'll click on ok and then we'll head on to opacity and we'll reduce the opacity all the way down to about 20 pixels and we'll click ok Head on to the plus icon again and to the gallery and we have one more image we want to use for this background and we have it here so we'll just bring it onto our design click ok and then we we'll like to scale this all the way this way we'll scale it and we have it over here and then we want to head on to color and we'll change the color of this to the milk color that we've used before and we have it over here and we'll click ok so we'll head on to opacity and we'll reduce the opacity all the way down to about 30 to about 30 pixels and we have it there and we'll click ok so now that we have them there We'll head on to the layers panel and we we'll want to lock them so that we have them in place. So we'll head on to the plus icon and we'll bring other elements for this design. And we have the MasterCard logo and we'll bring it onto our design. We'll just scale it a little bit. Bring it onto our design. And we'll scale it all the way down because we don't want it all that big. And we'll place it over here. And we have it there nicely. Next up, we'll head on to the plus icon and then to gallery. I will bring the logo for this. Have it here. We we'll like to reduce the size. So we use the relative uh, positioning option to position this to the center, and we we'll use the positioning tool to. to Position it over here nicely and we have it there and we'll select it we'll head on to color change the color to a milk color and we we'll use this and we have it there we'll click OK so the next thing we want to do is to head onto the layers panel and we'll lock all of this so that we have them in place and they don't move. So next up, we want to head onto the plus icon and we'll add a shape. So we'll change this shape to a triangle 
and then we'll bring it all the way down we'll scale it to be very small and we'll check so we have it we'll scale it a little bit and we'll rotate it and we have it over here and we'll use the positioning tool to bring it all the way to this side and we'll have it and we'll check so we'll head on the plus icon and we'll start adding our text and the first text we'll be adding is the debit so put this in capital letter and we have debit click ok and then we want to head on to size and we'll reduce the size all the way to 30 and then we'll head on to style make it bold and we'll click ok and then spacing increase the later spacing and we have it there nicely drag it all the way up to this point and we have it there nicely i want to select this and we'll make a copy and we'll bring it all the way down and we'll edit it I will type the credit card number so we have it there this is fictional please so we we'll just add it there and we have it there nicely so the next thing we want to do is to head on to size I want to increase the size all the way to 40 and we'll check and we'll head on to spacing We'll increase the spacing all the way to 15 pixels and we have it there nicely and we'll position it over here so the next thing we want to add is to add the expiring date so we'll head on to the plus icon and we'll add a text so we have valid true and we'll click OK. So we'll reduce the size, head on to size, and we'll reduce the size all the way to about 18 pixels. And we'll click OK. And we'll use this positioning option and we'll position it over here nicely. So we'll select this and we'll make a copy and we'll add the date. And the date for this is going to be. 01 slash 26 so we'll click ok and we'll just try to position it nicely there and we have it there so we'll head on to the plus icon again and we're going to add the name of the customer and i'm going to add my name there and we have it there nicely as you can see we have successfully created the front of this atm card so the next thing we're going to do is to design the back side of this card and to do that we want to create the design on this particular layer so all we need to do is to lock all the layers that we have here we'll just lock them and then we'll go down to the last layer here and we'll unlock it and we'll select it from the layers panel and then we'll make a duplicate of that layer so we'll just make a copy of it and then we'll go back there and we'll lock it so we're creating all of this on top of the other one so we'll head on the plus icon and to the gallery so we'll start designing the back side and then we're going to use one of those pictures for the background so we have this and we'll bring it over here and we want to scale it all the way here scale it all the way like this and then we'll head on to color and activate the color and we'll change it to the uh, milk color that we used initially so we'll change it this 
and we'll reduce the opacity all the way down to about 30 pixels and we'll click OK so we have it there so we'll head on to the plus icon and we're going to add the black dividing line so we have this line here so we use this shape to create it and we'll place it over here and we'll change the color to black and we'll click on OK so now that we have it there we want to select it and we'll make a copy from it so we'll make a duplicate and place it over here and we want to reduce the length and we'll also reduce the width and we'll place it here so we'll just take this up a bit and we'll place this here so with that selected we'll head on to color and we'll change the color of that to um, the milk color we've been using on this design so we're going to use this and we have it there nicely so the next thing we want to do is to add the text so we have this and we're going to add the number and we have SCM dash four four five five dash one one two two and we have it there nicely so we'll head on to font and then we'll head on to style and we'll bold this and then we'll go down to size and we'll reduce the size all the way down to 25 and we'll take it up we want to have it over here and then with that selected we're going to make a duplicate of that and we're going to edit the text and we're going to have authorized signature and then we'll head on to size we'll use the size of this to 20 and we'll place it over here So we'll make a duplicate again of this and then we'll place it over here and we'll edit this and we'll say not valid unless signed so we have it over there and we're going to um make a little adjustment to it and we'll reduce the size a bit to 18 and then we want to increase this and we have it there nicely so we are going to add the cvv number then we have a text so we're going to add 559 and we'll click ok and we'll head on to color change the color to black and we'll change the font as well to a font that I have here and the name of this font is go bold italic so if you don't know how to install font uh, I will leave a link in the description of this video on how to install font so kindly check it out so reduce the size a bit and then we we'll increase the padding on the right so we have it there nicely so we we'll use the positioning tool and then we'll take it up and we have it there nicely so next thing we want to add is in the barcode so we we'll head on to the plus icon and to the gallery and we'll locate our barcode And we have it here so I'll just place it and I'll just scale it all the way down and we have it here nicely so the next thing we want to add is to add the 
logo for this bank so we head on to the plus icon into our gallery again and then we'll locate the logo that we have and this is it and we have it here I will click OK so we want to scale it all the way down and we'll position it over here and we want to change the color to a black we have it there and we'll use the positioning tool to try to position it properly and we'll check so we want to add um, the um, agreement text so we head on the plus icon and text and I've already have that typed because it's long so I'll just paste it here and we have it there so we'll just um, head on to size and we'll reduce the size all the way down to let's say 20 for now and we'll see how it is so we'll reduce the size again so we have it at um, 15 pixels and we'll leave it at that so we'll check and then we're going to add a separator so we'll add a shape and we're going to reduce the size we want it all that thin so we'll check and we have it there so we'll select it and we'll bring it down a bit So one our user to get the app from the app store so just head on to the plus icon and we're going to add a pc as a symbol so we'll just add this and then we'll just resize it all the way because we don't want it so big so we have it and then we'll head on to color and change the color to white and click OK so I'll just select this and make a duplicate and I'll edit the text I'll type the name of the bank HSBC online banking so I'll click OK and then I'll reduce the size to 15 then I'll take it up head on to the plus icon again and I'll add a text edit this and I'll type download from app store so we have it there and we'll click OK. So we want to reduce the size of this text. All the way down to about 13. And then I'll increase the spacing in between the letters. So I have it there nicely. So the next thing I want to add is to add the email and then the phone number. So I make a copy of this and I'll edit and I'll type card add hsbc.com so I'll add the phone number just add a slash and a dummy phone number click on OK and I'll increase the size to 17 and I'll position it over here nicely 
so I want to add one more thing and that's the seal so I'll just reduce this so that I have space and I'll take this up a bit so where does the plus icon and shapes And then we have this and we'll increase the radius I'll click OK so we'll just reduce this a bit and then we'll bring it over here and we have it there nicely and then we'll head on to texture and we're going to add a texture there to give it that gold effect so we head on to gallery and then we have the texture we want to use for this so we'll click on ok and we have it there so guys as you can see we have successfully created um, the front and the back side of our design and our ATM card is looking so nice and we've come to the end of this tutorial so guys if you have not subscribed to the channel kindly hit on the subscribe button kindly share this video give this video a thumbs up so that YouTube can recommend it to other people I want to hear what you have to say concerning this design in the comment section below and thanks for watching I'll see you in the next one